the end of the day, it's not about getting a utopia, it's about being on a journey. And because keeping a community alive needs continual care. We've got a few things on our minds at the moment. Password care, how do we keep a hold on people if we don't actually have any official passwords? How do we foster ownership in vulnerable and uncomfortable people? Because at the end of the day, our community is set up for people who will put their hand up. And then that's quite a narrow demographic. Is that okay? Do we need to change it? And how do we keep it open for, for others as well? And finally, this year, we've had one baby, two marriages, and we've got a pregnancy just over there in the crowd. And how does community change as our lives change? Steve. Lovely, thank you. There we go. Cool. So we're going to wrap up, but just to finish off, so for all our uncertainties, we, we do have a core belief that ownership is good and everyone has something to say that can help churches and communities grow and do good. When we listen to everyone, we all get a bigger vision of God and a spiritual life. We called this talk a four-year experiment, but as you heard initially, the Borough Commons started as a six-month experiment. We really weren't convinced it would work, but we were clear that if it folded after six months, that that was okay. We only wanted to keep it going if it was a good thing. Now we're increasingly confident that we've got something that can thrive into the longer term. We know that we're riding a wave, we're not initiating it. We know that there's other groups springing up with a similar ethos. There's something in the air. A, a friend of ours put it like this, church needs to be a place which fosters faith, not that pol polices belief. This is vital. We don't see uncertainty about beliefs as problematic, but as a reflection of the mysterious wonder of an unfathomable God. Any attempt to contain the creator in ideas or words can only fall flat. Many of us feel deep affinity with mystical traditions and, and groups like the Quakers. And while Barack Obama might be an experiment, none of her ideas are new. But what we can say is that after four years, it feels good.